Get ready for Monday Motivation. Welcome to Monday Motivation. This is your host, Prophetess Kimberly Moses, and I'm going to take you guys on a fantastic journey this week. Every week, I'm going to encourage you and give you the word of the Lord to get you through your week. So get ready to be empowered and get strengthened in your faith. Right, so today we're going to talk about God will sustain you. And I know I hit on this before, but this is a brand new praise report, a brand new testimony. And I'm going to testify. We're going to really talk about this topic because if God did it for me, he can do it for each and every one of you guys that's listening. And, you know, there's nothing that can relate to something or someone than someone that has went through something, right? So many people can find this story that I'm getting ready to tell you and this word of encouragement as a way of just like, wow, she's so relatable. And God, I thank you. You can do it for me. But before I delve into that, let me just read you this, this verse. And this is going to bless you guys. And this stood out to me. So in Luke chapter 5 and 17, and it's talking about Jesus Christ. And he was like in a synagogue or he went through, you know, every village of Galilee, Judea and Jerusalem. And, you know, there were some Pharisees there, some teachers of the law sitting there listening to him. But the last part I want to bring out is the power of the Lord was present. For him to perform healing. The power of the Lord was present for him to perform healing. I'm going to say that again because I want to focus on God's healing power. The power of the Lord was present for him to perform healing. So many of you guys may have heard bits and pieces of my testimony. And I used to have like great credit back in the day and God has since restored the credit. And I testified about that recently. Um, also, I used to have like this major big house and, you know, God is so faithful and I lost everything and I hit rock bottom. And I began to testify before that I was on food stamps for a season because I couldn't afford it. Well, another thing people may not know is that for a whole season, you know, maybe Four to five years, I did not have any health insurance. I could not afford to go to the doctor. You know, I was on a limited income and I had to trust God for everything. And I had to trust God for my healing. So one of the things I did to not get sick was to stay close to God, stay in his presence. Because when you live right, God will protect you. And when you live right, also the door to the enemy is closed in your life and we know the enemy will try to still kill and destroy and one of the ways the enemy tries to destroy or kill God's people especially prematurely is through sickness so our disease and we see that a lot and even now in the pandemic we see that and um some some people you know I'm not saying that they did anything wrong but we just got to stay in God's presence as never before especially in these times so I just remember Throughout the five years when I didn't have health insurance, I couldn't go to the doctor. I'm like, God, you know, thank you, Father. You got to protect me, God. I can't be getting sick because, God, look, I'm doing your work. You know, I'm, I'm a minister of the gospel. I'm, I'm your prophet. You called me into this. You know, I could have been had some health insurance, you know, if I was out there in the world and doing what I could do, you know, uh, go to medical school, X, Y, Z. But I said, no, God, you call me from that. You call me into ministry. And I know this is part of the process. So I'm going to trust you. And I believe you that you're not going to allow me to get sick. You're not going to allow me to be taken out of here. So, God, I thank you in advance, Father. That I have, you know, a clean bill of uh, health and, you know, I'm healthy in Jesus name. So these are some of the prayers I prayed to God until the time came where, you know, I could afford the assurance and things like that. Me and my family. So these were the, these, these were the prayers I prayed. I had to believe God, you know, to sustain my health. I had to believe God, you know, to, to keep me well, not only physically but mentally and spiritually because some of the attacks could be mentally draining and emotionally draining but God is good he's faithful so over that time period you know I believe God he kept me 
Uh, I wasn't sick. I don't have no kind of diseases. I bless God. I went to the doctor. The doctor said, you are healthy. You are, it's nothing I can really do for you. It's nothing I can really treat you on. We can meet me like once a year just for a follow-up to check in, but you are just healthy. And I was like, well, praise God. It's like, this is all God. God kept me from being sick. God sustained me. And this is the powerful thing about God. See, you may be in a tough time, a wilderness, but God will sustain you. We see this all throughout scripture. The Israelites, when, they're, when they were in the wilderness, God sustained them. God, he gave enough, amen, uh, support, enough uh, the necessities to get them through, to get them through transition. And what you're going through today, some of you guys are in transition. It just, he's providing enough, you know, income, you know, you may not have all the money you want, but just know it's on the way because you're in transition. And when you get to that place, when you get to your promised land, when you get to the land flowing with milk and honey, you will understand why you couldn't have all the money right now in this season or why you're in transition because God didn't want you to get settled. Or he didn't want you to get comfortable in the wilderness. He wants you to get comfortable in the land flowing flown with milk and honey. He wanted you to get comfortable in that land, not in the land of lack or a land of not enough. So this is why some of you guys be are just saying, God, okay, Lord, I, I, I thank you that you're providing for me daily. But God, I know there's more. Yes, absolutely, there's more. But God will sustain you. And God did that as well. Like for the Israelites, their shoes didn't <laughs> wear out. They were in there for like 40 years. And you mean to tell me they wore the same shoes for 40 years and it was in great condition? That's God. Also, their clothes didn't wear out. Can you, can you imagine wearing the same shirt, the same pair of pants for 40 years? You know, some of our clothes would be worn out, stretched, you know, holy and all kind of things, all up in their rips and tears, but God sustained their clothes. Then we see how God sustained the widow. We can see that as well. Um, how God, uh, he just blessed the widow oil barrel or the flower jar to never run out. God is so faithful. So, you know, God did that for me. He's a faithful God. He's a good God. And I can just think about just where God brought me from and where I'm in, where I'm at right now and where I'm going. Amen. So you're going to be able to look at the progress and you're going to be in awe of who God is and what he's doing in your life. So just embrace the process. So I am a living witness that if you don't have any health insurance, if you don't have any uh, a job, if you don't have everything you need, you know, God will sustain you and he will protect you. He will provide it all. He will cover you. He will not allow the hairs on your head to be harmed or touched in any kind of way in Jesus name. So I just want to pray that this week will be a blessed week for you this week that God will move for you in a powerful way i pray right now that you're living underneath an open heaven i pray right now that god will just place a shield of protection around you and your family we bind up death premature death sickness covid 19 symptoms and i speak you will live and not die to declare the works of the lord jesus christ i love you guys so into this Monday motivation, go to my cash app, which is dollar sign profit Kimberly Moses, or go to my Venmo, which is Kimberly Moses 19. So into it, and I will see you on the next Monday motivation.